Today, we're going to cover the smash. Smash is a definition shot typically used by medium to high level players. Where you aim depends on how comfortable and precise you are with this shot. Did you know that there are different types of smashes? Let's go over them. The first one and easier to learn is the winter smash. The goal is to aim close to the back glass of your opponent's court and because of the power and direction you use for the ball to quickly bounce back to your side. Then we have the 4 meter smash. This one is when the ball is so high and close to the net that by simply smashing it down at the beginning of your opponent's court it should bounce high enough to go over the 4 meter fence attached to the back glass. This smash is very popular because when you succeed in its execution, you immediately win the point. Now let's talk about the 3 meter smash. When you have a good smashing technique, applying topspin should be an easy task. In this smash, you must use both precision and topspin to hit the ball toward the middle of the court so it will bounce and then rebound on the back glass and because of the topspin, go out over the side wall, which is 3 meters high, hence its name. But when should you use this smash? Do you have an idea? This smash should only be used if you're standing in the green attacking zone, in a balanced position and receive a slow, high and comfortable ball. If you're a beginner, be cautious in trying this smash because it requires a very complex movement to be executed perfectly. When you don't impact the ball with enough speed or spin, your shot will most likely give your opponent an easy ball to counter attack on. It's common for players to struggle with this shot, missing the ball and losing the point on what was supposed to be a comfortable moment. As your level progresses, winning the point by just putting the ball in, it only gets harder. Smashing allows you to win the point in an easier way if your opponent leaves the ball easy for your smash. It also opens up the possibility of fake smashing. What's this? It's the act of preparing the smash movement while watching to see if your opponent runs forward. If they do, trick them by placing a very slow ball through their middle instead so that it dies behind them. Also, there is another type of smash, the smash to the fence. This one is considered more of a defensive shot since you are further away from the net and your goal is just to put the ball in to get back to the net. But what shot is this and where should you aim? It has the same technique as a smash, but instead of an attacking shot, is more of a defensive shot like the bandeja. You aim for the fence or side glass and perform a smash with reduced power. What happens is that the ball will go around the court, bouncing from the side glass or fence and into the back glass. This gives you precious extra seconds to return to the net. It is most commonly used by left side players. And when should you use this smash? When you are in the red attacking zone and receive a lock that is falling close to your fence, giving you the best angle to execute this shot. My tip for beginners who want to start using this shot is to first try it with a flat effect instead of topspin and to aim for the side pass with a lot of margin. If you're at a more advanced level, feel free to use topspin. So guys, Today, we took a look at one of the riskiest shots in paddle, the smash. For beginners, it's not advised to use this shot because most of the times what happens is either they miss the shot due to poor execution or they don't have enough power on the shot to bring the ball back to their side, ending up on the opponents going forward and counter-attacking the shot, winning the point. But when you're already a medium to high level player, it's a very easy tool to end points quicker. You have different types of smash, such as the three meters or the four meters, which is good to surprise your opponents. Also, you have the winter smash, typically used during the winter, because when, the, when there's a lot of cold, the ball zone jumps so high. It's better just to smash deeper to the glass so that the ball comes quicker to your court. And also, you have what is called smash to the fence. This one is not an attacking one as the others. It's more of a defensive stroke because the goal is just to play the ball into the fence or side glass in order to gain back the net, okay? It's a much easier way just to make the opponent spin around in the double glass and just return to the net. When you have 
a good smash, you can start already implementing the fake smash. The fake smash is when you simulate that you're gonna smash, so the opponent starts running forward, and then you just have to simply put the ball in at the end of the court. This is a very important tool because it's important to use this kind of variation so the players don't start always to run forward. I'll see you guys on the next video.